Hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I'm going to take you through some quick uh, two minute journey of how Tedens started, uh, what have we been in the past six years and what do we look for in a future Tedensian. Uh, so we started about six years back, which was uh, uh, what do you call as luck by chance, right? That's one movie that got released in Bollywood. Um, uh, Shub and Sumit, the other two founders, they were in Bay Area. They incidentally started in Jan of 2013. Um, this is Sumit's fifth startup um, and the only successful one. But because a lot of learning ha happened in the failures in the past four, four startups. So that, all of that happened and then uh, I was also in the Bay Area. And uh, you know, one fine day I was sitting in a Starbucks cafe in in uh, Bay Area, I pinged uh, Shubh, who is our CEO and founder. Back then we used to use a lot of uh, personal Skype. Uh, the guy was uh, up in the air, uh, in a, taking a flight in US. He had the internet Wi-Fi on, incidentally, uh, and he pinged me back. And that is how the journey of, uh, of Tedian started. Uh, we met, we kind of figured that we were incidentally at the same location, thinking about exactly the same thoughts. Right, about the industry in which we are. Uh, and somehow the timing worked for all of us. Uh, so I came back to India, uh, Shubhan Sumit stayed there, uh, and that's how the story of Freedom started. Uh, so it was, and that's the reason why it's, it's luck by chance. Uh, if I had not pinged um, uh, Shubh, uh, at least I would not be in Freedom. Uh, if he had not responded, if he was not on Wi Fi, uh, and, and Shubhan Sumit themselves were batchmates from IDBHU. And believe me, they, after they graduated, they met after 15 years in a common friend's kid's birthday party, right? And they just bump into each other in, I think that was September of 2012. And they say, oh, you know, you are here and I also live here and we didn't talk to each other for 15 years. Imagine if one of them chose not to come to the birthday party, yeah? So that is how, <laughs> that is how, um, what they say, like fortune favors the brave, right? Uh, so that is how the, 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 the story of Freedom started. I think the past six years have been phenomenal for us, uh, both uh, as a company and both as a personal journey, uh, you know, on how, uh, you know, we have grown through the multiple challenges. It's never easy to start up. Uh, getting a first client itself was a story. Uh, we worked on three free pilots before the client really uh, trusted us and said, oh, you know what, you guys are good. Well, this client incidentally has changed three companies since then and all three are our clients today, right? Uh, so that is what it takes. I still remember this was uh, the beginning of 2014. Um, we had a one month cash in the bank. The founders were not taking any salary, but there are about 10, 15 people in the company. We were in an apartment. We had just one month cash to pay the salary and we thought, okay, how we are going to, uh, you know, tide over the next a month after. Uh, uh, and then incidentally, we get a check from and how much was that? Half a million dollar check from one of our largest clients, which has now become one of our largest clients. And that solved the problem once and actually forever after that, right? So that is how we have, we have grown. I think, uh, you know, in short, it is a story of, uh, you know, some wise man told me uh, seven, eight years back that, you know, entrepreneurship is a story of gut, uh, like believing in what you are doing, sweat, which is a lot of hard work, right? Uh, a heart, because you are going to fall down thousands of times. And if you start pitting yourself and start finding problems outside, you're not going to grow and improve. So that is why heart. And then finally luck, because we are not gods and we operate in randomness. So we just need to keep trying. So that is this, that is how that's how, how a journey has been so far. Gut, sweat, heart, and finally luck. Luck you can't control, but through gut, uh, heart and sweat, you can be ready for the ups and downs of the luck, right? Finally, what do we look for in credentials? Uh, so the one thing that I always say to everybody who intends to aspire to join Tedens or are inside the company is uh, that although we are, um, you know, just three founders, Tedens has multiple entrepreneurs, right? And that is exactly what we look for, right? So we're looking for people who are um, very, very hungry for growth, learning, professional development, personal development. We're also looking for people who are foolish enough to take some risks, right? Because hey, here's the thing, none of us are experts in our industry. I have been, I have spent 10, 11 years in analytics now, but whatever I knew five years back is no longer relevant now. 
right? So I have to relearn and unlearn and do all of those things, right? And that requires a certain entrepreneurial spirit, right? And that's what we want. Uh, and those attitudes for us are actually far more valuable and far more important than having uh, the skill of, you know, coding in Python or coding in SAS and all of those. I think we can teach you all that. What we can't teach you is the attitude of an entrepreneur. Well, we, we, you know, if you have that, then come and join us.